everyone, today I am back with another video and in this video I wanted to explain why I had over a year and a half off YouTube. As I explained in my last video I made the one titled I am going to Europe. I gave a little update and said that I hadn't been on YouTube for a year and a half besides my travel videos and today I wanted to explain why. The reason I want to explain on my channel is because sometimes speaking out about these things is a way to help and overcome them and YouTube also helped me a lot during this time especially watching like Zoella, um, Gabriella Lindley, Shanexo and Danny Mansudi hopefully making this video I can help someone out like they helped me. So starting off in about September 2014 I went on a holiday to Queensland with my friends Jelaine, Geordie and Casey and during that time I did vlog as I usually do when I go on holidays and I come to a point on that holiday where I felt like vlogging was a chore and I wasn't actually enjoying it. And then it come to February in 2015 when I went to Queensland by myself on that little road trip I went on and obviously I was going to vlog because I went by myself. I wanted to show my friends and family what I got up to but also I wanted to remember that trip. And then things in life got in the way and I became really really unhappy with life in general and then I started management at work and that it made me really really unhappy and I didn't do it for that long. I got so upset about it I'd literally cry every shift and it made me really really unhappy pretty much more unhappy than I already was, which didn't make it any better. I wasn't in a great place at that time, but eventually I quit doing management and just went back to what I was doing. And then I had a really, really close family friend uh, pass away from suicide, and that really, really crushed me. For months after that, I had nightmares, and I couldn't sleep, and so all I'd do was eat, and eat and eat. <laughs> And I put on a lot, a lot of weight at that time. <laughs> Little confidence I did have literally went out the window and I just couldn't do anything anymore. And then it came to July of last year and I went on two holidays. I went to Port Macquarie and I went on a cruise. Um, and travelling to me is a way to escape, which is kind of bad but I really really enjoy traveling but there's also things that come with that as well and then it came to September and pretty much for about a year at this point I'd gotten so so anxious that I couldn't deal with it anymore so I went to the doctors and pretty much told him everything and he told me I had severe anxiety and there was ways in which I could deal with that through medication and stuff like that but I don't want medication to depict how I feel. And, and that's another thing that comes with travelling as well. Travelling makes me so anxious. Before every place I travel to, before every holiday, before I even go to Sydney which is like two hours from my house, I have a panic attack every time before I leave and I know when it's coming on and I can't stop it, I can't control it, well I can control it to a point but there's only so far I can go. I'm still trying to work on that but there's, it's, it's hard, it's so hard and people don't understand that at all. People throw around the word anxiety and people just claim to have it and stuff like that but once you actually deal with it properly it is so hard and when people try to tell you just get over it it'll be okay stop feeling anxious you're only nervous like it's fine no it's really not it is so hard and people don't understand that at all trying to explain to someone how you feel and what you go through when you have a panic attack or when you feel anxious they just don't understand it's so hard it's like I've tried to explain to so many people and some people are just like okay cool it's like, thanks for the support! <laughs> and then it got, things got really bad at home, at work, just with life in general. 
So pretty much I thought the best thing for me was to move out of home. So I moved out of home and I lived with my auntie for a bit and I thank her so, so much for taking me in for as long as she did because if she hadn't, I don't know what would have happened. So while living with her I was able to de-stress, figure out anxiety and everything like this and it worked in a way but then eventually I had to move back to home and things did get better, thank god. But I also went to the doctors at one point and spoke to him about the depression side of things. And it, it's really hard with depression because there can be times where you're on top of the world, you feel so happy, you finally feel like your life's coming back together, but then it all comes crashing down, it shoves right back in your face and pretty much goes ha 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 and is like, nope, you're not going to be happy, you need to be sad. It's happened to me at a party before, I was all happy one minute, next minute, I just, I couldn't deal with anything and I, I had to leave because when you get so unhappy and so depressed like that, all of a sudden, like, in a click of a finger it could happen. You need, how I deal with it is I need to be by myself. I don't know if that's good or not, but I need to be alone and sort my head out. The worst thing about depression and anxiety is it's all to do with your head and your brain and things flying around your head. Especially with anxiety, they scream at you telling you you're not worth it, you're shit, you're, you're crap, you just telling you how horrible you are, how ugly you are and everything like this and it's all your head telling you these things and all you want to do is cry and you stress out and that's when you panic and you get so anxious because these things in your head are telling you how to run your life and how you should feel and all this but and then depression just makes it all sad and it's shit. It's absolute shit. <laughs> things got better for a while, um, work kind of got better to the point. <laughs> I guess you can only make work as good as you can, I guess. Um, I went on a few holidays, made me really happy, and then it just all come crashing down again. I didn't talk to my friends, I barely spoke to any family, it just, I was so unhappy that I just didn't want to talk to anyone at all. All I did was sit in my bedroom. So then my mum suggested I start watching a TV show. So I started watching Parenthood and I absolutely loved it and it kind of got me out of my room and doing something besides just sitting there and crying. And then work decided to not roster me any shifts therefore I wasn't getting money and wasn't being able to pay my bills and stuff like that. And because only a few months earlier I had cleaned out all my bank accounts to pay for Europe because Obviously Europe's going to cost a lot of money and all leading up to that I was stressing and stressing about money not having enough. Thankfully I had enough to pay for it but afterwards I was left with nothing. And when you're not getting rostered shifts at work, you're not earning money so you can't leave the house to go and do things because everything costs money these days. And then it all started again and I was just stressed about money and which made me so depressed because I couldn't leave the house, I couldn't even afford to eat, like I just couldn't do anything. And then at one point about two weeks ago it suddenly just clicked to me. It's like I need to snap out of this, I need to try and make my life better because for over the last year and a half I've been so so unhappy, it's been ridiculous that I myself am so sick of being unhappy so now I've decided that I'm going to make life better pretty much. I still get anxious on a daily basis pretty much but I can only, like I said, I can only control that as far as I can and 
as far as me fainting a lot. <laughs> Fainted like two weeks ago, but I don't know what to do about that really. This is why I'm getting back into YouTube because YouTube is what makes me happy. I Even though <laughs> no one really watches these videos, but I enjoy making them. It makes me really happy. And I just love editing them and setting up my background. It didn't really work out for me today. Uh, but yeah, I just, I'm trying to get back into the things I love, see more of my friends, go to work more. Thankfully, I've been made full time, so now I'm getting shifts. I'm trying to make life as good as I can make it. Like obviously I still have to work through depression and anxiety and stuff like that. Like they don't just go away as soon as you feel happy. Like I felt happy for about a week and a half, two weeks now, but like I said it can, can come crashing down at any point. But I've built walls around me. This is my barrier. Nobody's getting through. Depression isn't getting through and I am happy. I don't think I've generally said that I'm happy in so long. Like, I'm just happy with how life is going right now and it's, it's so good. <laughs> so now I'm going to try and get into filming a lot more videos and enjoy life and do the things that I'm meant to be doing. Like I'm going to Europe in 48 days. I'm so excited. All the stress that that money put on me for Europe and stuff like that. Why was I stressing? Like I knew I'd be fine. Like I'm good with money. But I'm really excited about that. I'm just really excited for this year. I feel like this is my year to shine. It's going to be fantastic. Everything's going to be great. And yeah. So that is my story. And that is why I haven't made any proper videos for the last year and a half. Like obviously I made my traveling videos, but I made them because I wanted to remember those holidays. So this is me. I'm happy to be back. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.